Hi there, Rob here. And today we are going to answer a question. So we had to find out what f of x plus h minus f of x all over h is going to give us when we have our function of 5x squared minus 6x plus 4. So they said that the answer is 10x plus 5h minus 6. And we're going to show you how we get there. So first off, i am already found f of x because it's already been given. So now I want to find f of x plus h. So in order to find that, I'm going to plug in x plus h everywhere I see an x. So I see an x there and an x there. So that's going to give us 5 times x plus h. And it's going to be all squared minus 6 times x plus h. And that is going to be plus 4. So now, in order for us to get our complete answer for f of x plus h, I need to expand this a little bit. So for here, I'm just going to use a distributive property to distribute this negative 6 here and here. And I'm also going to FOIL this out. So we're going to FOIL x plus h times x plus h. So I have an x here and an x here, but I'm going to multiply together. And that is going to give me x squared. And then I have an x and an h. So first terms multiplied, then the outside terms multiplied. So that's going to give me hx. And I like to, I personally like to have my variables in alphabetical order. And then I'm going to multiply the inside part, which is going to be another hx. And then I'm going to multiply the last parts together, which is going to give me an h squared. So from here, I have x squared plus an hx plus another hx plus h squared. So simplifying that, I'm going to get x squared plus 2hx plus h squared. All right, so now the last thing I have to do is I have to expand, I have to distribute that five every amongst these three terms. And that's going to give me five x squared plus five times two is gonna give me 10 h x. And that is gonna be a positive five h squared. Let me make that look a little bit better. 5h squared. There we go. And again, I'm going to distribute that negative 6 into that x and h. So I have minus 6x minus 6h. And that is going to be plus 4. And now we found f of x plus h. So now that I have this and I have this, I'm going to combine them using subtraction. So I'm going to put that over there. And this will go, nope, I don't want that whole thing. I just want this little piece right here. Nope. Might be faster if I just write it out. So I have minus 5x squared minus 6x plus 4. And again, I'm going to distribute this negative 1 along, and I want to make that 4 look a little bit better. There we go. So again, since I'm multiplying by negative 1, all I'm going to do is just flip the signs. So this five, positive 5x will become negative. This negative 6x is going to become positive. And I meant to say 5x squared is negative. I apologize. And that positive 4 is going to be negative. So from here, I can start to cancel things because I have a positive and a negative of both. For instance, I have a positive 5x squared there and a negative 5x squared there, so I'm going to cancel both. I have a negative 6x here and a positive 6x there, so I'm going to cancel both. And then I have a negative four, positive 4 here and a negative 4 there, so I'm going to cancel both. And what I'm going to be left with is 10hx plus... 5h 
squared minus 6h. So now from here, I want to take this and I want to divide it all by h. So let's take our little equation there. And I'm going to divide it all by h. And now if you look, I have an h here, an h here, and an h there. So I'm just going to factor out an h. And I'm left with what? I'm left with 10x plus 5h minus 6. And then now I'm going to divide everything by 5. I have, an, I have an H up here and an H down there, so I'm going to cancel votes. And I am left with 10X plus 5H minus 6. And that does agree with our original answer, so that is our final answer. Thank you for watching this, and if you are interested in tutoring, please feel free to visit my WiseAnt profile. And I hope you have a good day. Bye now.